हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you hello friends so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 30th of june the session will be very important so stay tuned till the end let's start first we will be discussing some important important cabinet approvals so stay tuned with us right so if we talk about the union cabinet chaired by prime minister narendra modi we all know this right and they have approved the ratification of headquarters agreement first thing is the ratification of hqa that is your headquarters agreement this will be between government of india and coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure right that is cdri so ratification of hqa between that is headquarters agreement between government of india and cdri this is your first thing second union cabinet approved the introduction of nrf what is this nrf that is your national research foundation bill correct so union cabinet approved the introduction of this nrf bill third third is the continuation of urea subsidy scheme that is continuation of urea subsidy scheme right then fourth government of india has approved the assistance of 1451 crore rupees for market development assistance for promoting organic fertilizers from gobardhan plant that is in order to increase the marketing or in you know in order to promote the organic fertilizers from the gobardhan plant this initiative for market development assistance was carried out fifth fifth is your ccea has approved fair and remunerative price of sugarcane for the sugarcane season that is at 315 rupees per quintal for the basic recovery rate of 10.25% so these are some of the cabinet approvals that you can remember definitely right next moving on how many products from up got the gi tag what is this gi tag it is your geographical indication tag this tag states that whether a product of a particular country or a particular place is genuine or not right it we can say this is a quality check for a particular product right so how many products from Uttar Pradesh recently got the GI tag so a total of 7 products from UP got the GI tag correct and remember GI registry that is geographical indication registry is done in Chennai Tamil Nadu under the department of industry promotion and internal trade correct and 
This here the Ministry of Commerce and Industry they recognize seven handicraft products from Uttar Pradesh that got the GI tag. If we look at the products that is Amora Dholak, Kalpi handmade paper, Bhagpat home furnishings, Bara Banki handloom product, Mahuba Gora, Pathar, Hastal Ship and Manipuri, Tarkashi and Sambal Horn craft. These are the seven products that have got the GI tag. And remember with this, the total number of GI certified products from UP alone is totaling at 52. If we talk about UP only, who is the Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath? Governor is Anandi Ben Patel, correct? Then remember in UP only, there is a Jaiwar airport that is being built recently. Then UP Global Investor Summit was held recently. Then uh, in UP only, remember Film City is there. Correct. Next. Next is first ever report on critical minerals was unveiled by which union minister? We are talking about critical minerals, right? We are talking about the minerals that will be used in various sectors such as your defense, agriculture, energy, pharmaceuticals and telecom sector, right? So the comprehensive list marks a significant milestone for India aligning with the nation India's uh, or India's Atam Nirbhar Bharat roadmap. That is, we want to make India self-reliant, correct? If we talk about some of the elements here, cobalt, copper, gallium, germanium, graphite, hafnium, indium, lithium, these are some of the critical minerals. So a first ever report on these critical minerals was released by whom it was released by Pralhad Joshi. Shri Pralhad Joshi, who is our Union Minister of Mines, is our Union Minister of Mines. Remember this also, right? Pralhad Joshi. And he released the first ever report on critical minerals for India. Correct? Next. Next is which edition of Swatch Sarvekshan 2023 was launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs? So, which edition of Swatch Sarvekshan was asked here? So, it is the 8th edition of the Swatch Sarvekshan that was launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. This is your first question. That which edition? Second question comes is that which ministry launched this Swatch Sarvekshan 2023? It was launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban urban affairs correct this swat sarvekshan that is mera shahar meri pehchan correct mera shahar meri pehchan this is swat sarvekshan 2023 it is the 8th edition launched by ministry of housing and urban affairs and under this survey it is expected to engage with approximately 10 crore citizens and making it with the world's largest annual urban cleanliness survey. Under this, around 3,000 assessors will take care of the field for assessment from 1st of July 2023 and they will evaluate of more than 4,500 cities across 46 indicators. This survey is expected to be completed within one month, right? And remember, with this, where telephonic feedback from citizens on various parameters of city cleanliness will also be taken into consideration. So this was the 8th edition of Swatch Sarvekshan that was launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs that is Mera Shahar Meri Pehchan. <coughs> next, next is an MOU was signed between the Ministry of Culture and Canara Bank to enhance the financial support for the veteran artists i repeat in order to provide support to the veteran artist by implementing significant changes to the financial assistance scheme by providing that will be provided by the central government correct so it is your ministry of culture that signed an mou with canara bank to support this veteran artist the scheme is basically it has been extends a monthly pension of 6,000 rupees to artists and scholars who are above the age of 60 
and who have made significant contribution to the performing art and culture fields the pension is designed to alleviate the financial difficulties experienced by these artists in the later years previously the financial assistance to these artists selected before 2017 was facilitated through the life insurance corporation that is lic correct then what is the main aim here that it is to the main aim here is to streamline the process and ensure the timely support to this veteran artist right and for this ministry of culture they have partnered with which bank they have partnered with canara bank right if we talk about canara bank who is the managing director and chief executive officer here k satyanarayan raju when was this established in 1906 where is the headquarter it is in bangalore karnataka and there is a tagline that is together we can next arai that is your what is this arai stands for arai is your automotive research association of india i repeat automotive research association of india right arai awards automotive pli certificate to mahindra last mobile connectivity i repeat Mahindra Last Mobile Connectivity a division of Mahindra and Mahindra became the first firm to receive the eligibility certificate under the 25938 crore production linked incentive scheme for automobile sector correct i repeat it is your mnm that is Mahindra and Mahindra right and their division Mahindra Last Mile Mobility they became the first firm to receive this eligibility certificate under 25938 crore pli scheme correct then remember this automotive research association of india arai this is a testing agency under the ministry of heavy industries that was awarded the eligibility certificate to these llm 40s flagship electric 3 wheeler correct so which is the or we can say that recently which firm became the first firm to receive the eligibility certificate under the pli scheme for automobiles it is your mahindra last mobile mobility and this is a division of mnm only mahindra and mahindra next what is the rank of india in the energy transition index what is this energy transition index this index is basically released by world economic forum that is wef and here the report that was released is fostering effective energy transition as the name suggests itself we are talking about transition that is we are talking about shifting from non uh renewable source of energy to renewable source of energy that is for example if we take shifting from coal burning to solar energy generation wind energy generation right and if we talk about the state that is performing best in terms of solar energy as well as best in terms of wind energy it is your rajasthan correct now coming back if we are talking about this energy transition index which is the rank of india here so india stood at 67th position correct the rank of india in this energy transition index that was released by world economic forum india stood at 87 uh, 67th position then what which country secured the first position here it is your sweden sweden secured the top position here and all these ranks are out of 120 nations correct sweden was on top second was denmark denmark third was norway and 67th was our india the report stated that india and singapore are the only countries that are making advances on all the aspects of energy system performance correct then if we talk about world economic forum the founder and executive here is uh, founder and executive chairman here is klaus schwab and the headquarter here is in switzerland next what is the rank of india at the global competitiveness index 2023 if we are talking about this global competitiveness index correct this was published by international institute for management development i repeat imd that is your international institute for management development published 
this 35th edition of the global competitiveness index correct and it is for 2023 now the question asked here is what is the rank of india the rank of india in this 35th edition of the global competitiveness index is 40 then on top it is your denmark then on second is your ireland in global competitiveness index and switzerland is on the third position correct the data that explores multiple factors that affects the prosperity of 64 economies that are taken into consideration and based on those 64 uh, on based on that those multiple factors this data is released that how a better or how well a particular company or a industry in a particular area is performing and based on them only these global competitiveness index are released you have to remember that in 2019 to 2021 india was placed in the rank of 43 and india has uh, dropped down three position and it stands at 40th position in 2023 in the global competitiveness index this as i mentioned this report outlines the issue that india is projected to encounter in 2023 maintaining high gdp growth rate managing financial market volatility and controlling inflation and fiscal deficit as we know that most of the countries all around the world are getting into recession and during that time when india is keeping a uh, gdp growth rate of plus five percent is a remarkable thing correct so coming back what is the rank of india it was at India stood at 40th position and top was on first Denmark, second Ireland and third was your Switzerland. Next, India removed from UNSG report on impact of armed conflict on children. See, earlier India was a part of a report since 2010, including Burkina Faso, Cameroon, the Lake of Shed Basin, Nigeria, Pakistan and Philippines and this report was basically about that india are not taking care of their children right because of the armed conflict on children india had a huge impact on them and many of these uh, children could have been protected by the government instead they were not i repeat india has been removed from an annual report on impact on armed conflict on children by United Nations Security General Antonio Gutters on the impact of the conflict in the view of measures taken by the government to keep better protection for the children, right? Say for example, there are two states A and B. Let's not take example, let's go with A and B. Two states in India, A and B, and there are conflicts going on in each state. In one state, the people, the police, the government, and the, all the management we can say is taking care of the security of the children and female there. But on the other hand, in B state, none of this has been taken care of. So that is wrong, right? Whenever there is any situation, right, or if there is any conflict, it is matter that we should keep the children out of it. Because if we won't do that, their cognition will be impacted, their experience will be impacted and that can lead to a trauma also in their life. So coming back for the same, India was on this report that the, because of the armed conflict on children, their mental or we can say the children are impacted because of this armed conflicts. So recently India was removed from this United Nations Security General's list of being part of the country that impact or that has significant or the children of those countries has significant effect because of the armed conflicts right next and it is a big win for india right now right next icici lombard and icici prudential life insurance they have jointly launched a combi product that was named dash so remember this combi product is named as i shield right and this i shield is a health and life insurance program or a life insurance solution that will provide with customers both with health insurance life insurance all right under this i shield 
द हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस कॉम्पोनेंट विल कवर एक्सपेंसिस ऑफ हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन डे केयर ट्रीटमेंट प्री एंड पोस्ट हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन करेक्ट एंड टेनिक टेली कंसल्टेशन ऑल्सो एंड द लाइफ इंश्योरेंस पार्ट हेयर विल कवर दैट इट विल कंटिन्यू टिल इट द एज ऑफ एटी फाइव इंश्योरिंग सफिशियंट फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्स ऑफ द फैमिली टू कंटिन्यू विद देयर लाइफ सो दिस इज योर आई शील्ड दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाई आई सी आई सी आई लॉम्बार्ड एंड आई सी आई सी आई प्रोडेंशियल लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी करेक्ट नेक्स्ट If we talk about ICICI Lombard, it was founded in 2001. Who is the managing director and chief executive officer here? Bhargav Das Gupta, and the headquarters is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Next, next is NPCI National Payment Corporation of India. They have partnered Priority Pass Access to enable airport launches access to rupee card holders. I repeat, NPCI partnered with Priority Pass Access India. a domestic launch experience program to offer airport launch access to the rupee card holders under this partnership eligible rupee card holders in india will be able to have access to over 50 premium launches and airport experience in major cities across india by simply tapping or swiping the rupee card for entry rupee card holders with also gain access to a network of railway launches in india right so coming back remember it is your national payment corporation of india they have recently partnered with priority pass access to enable for the people who have rupee card to access the airport launches and soon they will be able to access also the railway launches right next next is bank of india they have launched a centralized pool buyout and co lending cell in mumbai i repeat it is bank of india they have launched a centralized pool buyout and co-lending cell in mumbai this cell is equipped with an end to end digital underwriting system on board pool buyouts and co-lending of loans in partnership with nbfcs to boost the priority sector lending correct this will provide seamless integration between the bank of india and nbfcs as well as the cell will on board loan assets under retail MSME and agriculture segment with a dedicated team. What is this term buyout, pool buyout? What is this pool buyout? It is a practice in the banking sector to buy out the retail portfolios of NBFCs in return for immediate payment. Right? It is your pool buyout. So this cell is equipped with end-to-end -end digital underwriting system on board pool buyouts as well as co-lending of the loans in partnership with those NBFCs. right next next is awards and recognition recently uk's prime minister rishi sunak honored 101 years old sikh world war 2 veteran rajinder singh dutt with uk points of light award so question can be asked that who was recently awarded with the uk points of light award he will be world war 2 veteran rajinder singh dutt right now the question can also be asked in such a way that who presented this uk points of light award it was honored by or it was presented by uk's prime minister rishi sunak and it was presented to whom it was presented to rajender singh dat correct and this award was presented at the india global forum that was a U annual uk india week 2023 reception at the 10 downing street in london UK correct so remember he is rajendra singh that who was awarded with this award then remember uh if we talk about this uk point of light award this uk point of light award honors the exceptional individuals whose contribution is making a difference in the communities and whose stories might inspire others to find innovative solution to social concerns and their own communities and beyond This award was started uh, or launched in partnership with USA in 2014. Correct. Every weekend, Prime Minister bestows the Point of Light Award on an inspiring volunteer. And recently, he was Rajendra Singh Dutt. He was born in pre-partition India. He joined the British Indian Army during the Second World War, and later he was promoted to Havildar Major, that is Sergeant Major, in 1940. 
करेक्ट ऑल्सो रिमेंबर आफ्टर रिटायरिंग फ्रॉम द आर्मी ही सेटल्ड इन यूके इन द ईयर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आर यूनियन मिनिस्टर पुरुषोत्तम रूपाला हैज लॉन्च अ रिपोर्ट फिश डिजीज एप्लीकेशन इन न्यू डेली दैट इज रिपोर्ट फिश डिजीज दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाय आर यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एंड डेयरिंग पुरुषोत्तम रूपाला जी राइट दिस एप्लीकेशन इज बेसिकली फॉर एक्वेटिक एनिमल डिजीज रिपोर्टिंग एट कृषि भवन इन न्यू डेली दिस एप हैज बिन डेवलप्ड बाय होम This app has been developed by ICAR, NBFGR, NSPAAD, along with Ministry of Fishing, Animal Husbandry, and Dairy. What is ICAR? Indian Council of Agriculture Research. What is NBFGR? That is National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources, and NSPAAD is your National Surveillance Program for Aquatic Animal Disease. Correct. This app basically provides advice to the farmers that are associated with aquaculture. It will enable the farmers to report the incidence of disease in fin fish, shrimps, molluscs in their farms and get scientific technical assistance on the same. Correct. This will contribute to sustainability and resilience of aquaculture systems by minimizing the negative impact. of fish disease on fish population next next is french dag test fired vmax hypersonic glider technology for the first time right this as you can see this is a vmax hypersonic glider technology it was tested by the french general armaments directorate that has france successfully conducted the test firing of this v max for the first time now question can be asked that this vmax technology or this vmax technology is of which country it is of france it was tested by whom it was tested by france only or in option it can also be given french dga that is your french general armaments directorate right they recently test fired this vmax hypersonic glider technology for the first time correct VMAX program was officially launched in 2019 and initial flight testing for this VMAX launcher was scheduled as early as 2021 if we talk about this VMAX hypersonic gliders or right unlike any blasting missile whose trajectory are fixed at the launch these hypersonic gliders they can change the direction at high speed allowing them to zigzag past in defenses and take evasive action once targeted by any anti air missile right they these hgv hypersonic gliders right they have a maximum speed of or they can reach a speed of 5 mag that is 5 times the speed of sound correct so here you can see these are your vmax hypersonic glider technology that was tested for the first time by french dga or in the question it can also be given france Next is National Statistics Day. When do we observe this day? This day is annually observed on twenty ninth of June to raise public awareness about the role and the importance of statistics in socio economic planning. Correct. This year in twenty twenty three, it was your seventeenth edition of the National Statistics Day. So correct option here is on twenty ninth of June we observe National Statistics. day and the theme here is alignment of state indicator framework with national indicator framework for monitoring sustainable development goals the first ever edition of the national statistics day was observed on 29th of june in 2007 right next next here you can see national statistics day and remember this day is observed on the birth anniversary of professor chandra mahalanu bonis all right remember this also moving on next is your international day of the tropics this day is observed on 29th of june to raise awareness about various challenges that tropical nations face and to celebrate the extraordinary diversity of the tropics the day aims to emphasize the role of the countries in the tropics towards achieving the sustainable development goal 
and the first ever international day of the tropics was observed in 29th of june in 2017 correct next next is tamil nadu's chief minister mk stalin inaugurated a new building in various locations and launched a portal for the farmers so directly you can remember that it was the chief minister of tamil nadu they have virtually inaugurated several projects at various locations and they have launched a new web portal that is tamil manavalam to encourage the farmers to use appropriate fertilizers for their land knowing the type and quality of their soil will also provide them better insight in which quality of fertilizers or urea they should use for the say correct so multiple buildings were inaugurated and a portal for farmers was also launched that is tamil manavalam and this is for the farmers to encourage them to use better quality of fertilizers appropriate fertilizers for the type of soil they have correct next next is andhra pradesh andhra pradesh chief minister has launched jagannath amma vodi scheme i repeat it is the chief minister of andhra pradesh ys jagan mohan reddy who launched this jagannamma amma vodi under this scheme eligible mothers who send their children to schools will receive 15000 rupees financial aid to meet the educational expense of the student it is reported that more than 80 lakh students from 1st to 12th standard will benefit through this particular scheme right this is your jagannna amma vodi scheme right next next is ias v venu has been appointed as the kerala chief secretary ips sheikh davesh saheb has been appointed as the new dgp of kerala so who is the new chief secretary of kerala ias v venu and who is the new dgp of kerala ips sheikh darvesh saheb right directly remember these two so friends these were your important current affairs now let's go for a quick revision we have seen the cabinet approvals right seven handicraft products from up got the gi tag first ever report on critical minerals unveiled by the union minister parla joshi swachh sarvekshan 2023 was held and it is the eighth edition of the world's largest urban cleanliness survey mou was signed between the ministry of culture and canara bank to enhance financial support for veteran artists arei award automotive pli certificate to mahindra last mile mobility wef's energy transition index was released and india was ranked 67th and sweden has topped here 2023 global competitiveness index was published by imd india removed from unsg report on the impact of armed conflict on children icici lombard and icici prudential life insurance jointly launched a combi product that was known i shield and it is both for health as well as life insurance then npca partnered priority pass access to enable airport launch access to rupee card holders then bank of india has launched centralized pool buyout and co lending cell in mumbai uk's prime minister rishi sunak has honored 101 year old sikh world war 2 veteran rajinder singh dhat with uk points of light award then union minister prushottam rupala launched a report fish disease application in new delhi french dag test fired the vmax hypersonic glider technology for the first time national statistics day is observed on 29th of june international day of the tropics on 29th of june and mk stalin the chief minister of tamil nadu inaugurated new buildings in various locations and launched a portal for farmers andhra pradesh chief minister launched jagannna amma vodi scheme ias venu v venu has been appointed as the kerala's chief secretary then ips sheikh darvesh saheb has been appointed as the new dgp of kerala right so these are your important current affairs friend now let's move to the revision part national insurance awareness day it is observed on 28th of june msme uh, ministry of msme they have launched champions 2.0 portal as well as a mobile application for msme sector growth next rohit jawa he has been taken or he has taken the charge as the managing director and chief executive officer of hindustan unilever limited 
नेक्स्ट आर बी आई अप्रूव द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ ए पी होटा एज द फेडरल बैंक पार्ट टाइम चेयरमैन नेक्स्ट एंजेला बेसेट मेल ब्रुक्स एंड कैरल लिटिलटन दे हैव बिन ऑनर्ड विद द ऑनररी ऑस्कर फॉर द लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट एट द फोर्टींथ एडिशन ऑफ द गवर्नर अवार्ड्स नेक्स्ट कोटेक जनरल इंश्योरेंस पार्टनर विद एक्टिव डॉट ए आई टू प्रोवाइड इंश्योरेंस प्रोडक्ट फॉर एम एस एम ईज सो फ्रेंड्स दीज वर योर इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द होमवर्क पार्ट अ सेल्ट बिलोंगिंग टू द न्यूलिथिक पीरियड वॉज रिसेंटली डिस्कवर्ड इन विद स्टेट विद सिटी होस्टेड द फर्स्ट नेशनल ट्रेनिंग कॉन्क्लेव थर्ड हु इज द हेड ऑफ द बॉर्डर सिक्योरिटी फोर्स एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी so these are your three homework questions friend and i want to see maximum participation in this homework section because students are not commenting the homework answers right i am then there is no reason for me to give these homework questions if you are not commenting below the answers right so max to max participation i need in the homework right max to max students should comment the answers of these homeworks right so these are your important current affairs friends i hope you have enjoyed the session all you have to do now is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same doing this will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue